you guys, I have two new beauties today. We're gonna play with some Fenty Full Face, it ended up being. And yeah, I did a look that's a little different for me. Had a little fun with it. What's up you guys, I'm Christina Shray. If you're new to my channel, hey. If you're returning, it's always good to see you. And why don't we pause just for a quick little sec. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know. <laughs> All right you guys, so today I'm playing with two new Fenty Snap Palettes, uh, Money and Wine, and I came up with this look using both. So you guys, I'm really excited to show you how I came up with this look today, and let's just do it. Let's just jump into this video. So Fenty dropped these two new Snap Palettes. Number nine is Wine. And number 10 is money and first let's just talk about packaging I love the fact that if you keep the box like I do you can see the colors on the outside so this is nine this is wine and this one is 10 can you see that it's money um, so I'll actually show you the inside of the palettes too so let me give you guys a little bit of details on these palettes so these are super portable I'll put my phone up next to it so if we weren't in quarantine and could travel everywhere <laughs> these would be a nice little size, but they're six grams of product. Each pan has one gram or 0 .035 ounces, so they're actually really, really pretty small. So here's my phone, and it fits on the top of my phone. So you can fit both palettes on an iPhone Plus. Super small, um, which comes in handy for me. I actually don't like a lot of clutter. Um, but a little bit more on this. Now, I have some of the older Fenty Snap Palettes. Snap Palettes. <laughs> I have some of the other Fenty Snap Shadow Palettes, and um, the one thing I found with those is that they were kind of inconsistent with the quality. Like one palette would be really good, the other palette would be okay, another palette would have a couple good ones. It was just kind of inconsistent. So I'm really curious to see um, how this one performs. And yeah, we're going to dive right into this. I'm not sure if I'm going to combine them or just really focus on one. The one that looks a bit more challenging for me is number 10 because this is green green. Let me show you. I mean, there's green and there's green green. <laughs> this is green green. That. I mean, they're really, really pretty colors. And then nine is wine, which looks like this. Um, so nine is more of my comfort zone and money you know I love olive greens but this is like green green <laughs> so I'm probably gonna do this one just because it'll be a bit more of a challenge I want to find a way to wear this where it's a doable look and it's not just green plastered all over my eyes so I'm probably gonna go with this and maybe mix a little bit of this in it so let me just prime my eyes and we're gonna get going on this all right, you guys, so it's going to be a Fenty day. I use my Fenty primer to prime my lids. And side note, it is so hot today, I'm personally offended. I have used every single product possible to keep this face matte, one of which being the Fenty primer. Just had to get that out. <laughs> you guys didn't come for that, but whew, freaking hot. All right. Using my Morphe M441, this nice little fluffy blender brush, I'm going into the color Direct Deposit. The colors are on the back, so I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, direct deposit, so this shimmer right here. And I'm gonna place this, start with it in the transition area, and then see, I might actually put this all over the lid for right now. Oh, that's a pretty color. So pretty. Pigmented too. Just used a little, oh, it's kind of patchy. <laughs> Let me get to blending this one out. First thing I can say is that this has some pigment to it, which is nice to see, because, anyways. All right, so picking up my Morphe M506, I'm going into the color Fat Pocket, so this one right here. And we're gonna place this one in the transition area and then blend upwards. But since that other one had a lot of pigment, let me start <laughs> small. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and just place this where I want it with most of the saturation in the outer 
third of the lid. Okay, so I probably look a little crazy right now. <laughs> At least on the monitor I do. I am actually going to mix these palettes because I'm just not going to rock a full green look. Um, so I'm going into the color, what color is this? Pop the cork from palette number nine, the wine. And I'm just going to place this all over my finger. And place this all over the lid. Okay, I switched the color off of this brush, but picking back up my Morphe M506, I'm going back into the color Pop the Cork. And I'm going to place this in the crease area and blend this into that other color. So blend it upwards. Don't go all the way to the top, but you're going to blend these colors together. See what happens. Okay, so now I'm going back into the color Direct Deposit. Is that the one? Yeah. Direct Deposit with my finger. And we'll take a little bit off. And I'm just going to place this in the center of the lid. Okay, so I want a little bit more punch. So I'm taking my Sigma E55, this flat shader brush, and going back in to pop the cork. And this time I'm actually going to um, fix plus the brush and place this on the outer third and the inner third of the eye. Just to give it, yeah. I like that. A little bit more saturation. Okay, so with my JH42, it's a flat shader brush. I'm going into this color right here, Need Receipts. And I actually already put it on the brush. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, fix plus the brush and place this color just in the center on both lids. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I want to deepen up the corner a little bit more. So I'm taking my Morphe M578 and going into Pinot, please. So this one here. And these palettes have actually been performing really well, super pigmented. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit. And I'm actually just going to deepen up, oh yeah, that's nice, this outer V. Just a little bit more. Okay, so starting on the lower lash now, I'm taking my Fenty pencil, fly pencil called Bank Tank. And I'm just going to run this all in the waterline to olive green. Now I'm taking my Morphe E35 and going to the color Pinot Please from the wine palette. And I'm going to put this on the outer, starting with the outer V, or the lower, here. <laughs> Just place that and smudge it down. Just want a little bit of contrast right there. Hey right, guys, so I'm going to finish with some uh, a mascara and a little bit more eyeliner and I'll be right back. Alright fam, so I'm back. I did of course a few things to complete the look off camera. It's an all Fenty face today. So I used the color Perpetrator. It's a, it's one of the fly pencils. I used it on the outer half of the lid, or the lower lash. So really it kind of is half green. <laughs> so I don't hit myself. Half green, half purple. And then I used my Fenty Fly Pencil to do a wing up top and mascara and that's all I did. I did bring the wing a little bit more inside and kind of thin on the outside just to make it a look a little more dramatic. Or at least that's what I was thinking in my head. So for lips I used the Fenty uh, Slip Shine in the color Cookies. What is this called? Cookies and Cocoa. So this color here. Let's see if I can get you to see it. Okay, so now for my thoughts on these two palettes. You know, I, number one, I think the quality in these two, I don't know if she changed the formula, but the colors are instantly a lot more pigmented and saturated, and it's just so much easier to blend them uh, for both palettes for me, which was, again, different than the other snap shadow palettes that I've got. So with these being the two latest releases, I think maybe she did something a little different with that, which is good. Um, as far as the color curation, um... The wine palette, I would say, let me pull it up for you. 
it's a pretty palette. Is it necessary? No, I really don't think so. Um, this Pinot Please is a really, really nice color. Um, I used quite a few, but um, overall, it's it's decent. I mean, I would say you probably have these colors five times over, and unless you just want those specific ones in our itty bitty travel palette, I'd say you don't need it. Um, now the money palette. The money palette really challenged me because these are shades of green that I'm really just not used to, but I wanted to see what I could do with it, and as you see, it kind of is not even the dominant color in the look. <laughs> but I do definitely want to play with this one more. I like that it shows up on my skin tone. I like the range of the colors in that I think it would be a really nice pop palette. Um, I couldn't do a look from start to finish in this one. Um, what I like about these palettes is that they're little and they're fun. Do I think that they're a must have in your collection? No. Um, I'm sure you have these pops of colors in another collection. I'd say the most unique one though would be Money. Um, just for those shades of green. So if you're looking for that then I'd say go for it. Other than that, yeah, that's all I have for you on this, guys. I hope you like the look. Um, all right, you guys, so please go ahead and give this video a like and leave a comment down below. I'd love to find out if you guys actually pick these palettes up. Do you like the money palette as an accent piece? Can you do a look from start to finish? I just have questions. <laughs> and mostly I really want to hear your thoughts on it. And you know what, guys? I'm going to wrap this video up. So... I'm popping something up on the screen here. Why don't you go ahead and hit that notification bell, the subscribe button, and like the video. And you guys, again, I really do appreciate the time that you gave me. So whatever time it is, morning, noon, or night, thank you for giving me some of it. You have a really, really beautiful day. Bye.